take Einstein and his special theory of relativity. There was a real puzzle that he faced, which had to do with properties of light and its motion. He wrote down some mathematical ideas just out of his head and thinking about the data and the situation. And very quickly, those ideas could be tested. In the general theory of relativity, 10 years later, he writes down equations to try to gain some insight into problems to do with the force of gravity. Within four years, you could test those predictions through the solar eclipse of May 1919. So there's a four year gap between the math and say the confirmation. Here we are with string theory, and I don't know exactly where you want to date the theory from, but give it sort of, you know, 30 years or ish, something, 40 years, and we haven't been able to test it. So the time scale is longer. Will we test it in 50 or 100? I don't know. It really depends on how quickly our mathematics continues to develop and, importantly, how quickly our technology continues to develop. That's really part of the problem here. Any theory, I don't care if it's string theory or loop quantum gravity, another approach that people have developed, if it's putting gravity and quantum mechanics together, it will distinguish itself in realms that are incredibly tiny or incredibly massive. That's where the tension between general relativity and quantum mechanics surfaces. And so you're going to have to have experiments that can probe incredibly small or incredibly energetic realms. Mm.